The focus of today's episode is all about the top groundbreaking Philippine lady golfers. We want to get to know who has been an inspiration to other women in golf and who has been breaking the barriers and setting the standards. First on the list isn't just one golfer. It's a whole team of young women making waves in tournaments in and around the Philippines. The ICTSI Amateur Lady Golfers. ICTSI and Mr. Enrique Rason Jr. have successfully put up a sponsorship program that helps amateur as well as professional golfers. Of course, the girls get in on the action too. But what makes our panelists mention these ladies as groundbreaking have a lot to do with the records most, if not all of them, have been achieving. I think um, we know there's a lot of young uh, amateur uh, girls and ladies now who are, who are playing and a few of them have started really young like Jay Viago who's won tournaments left and right. Um, we have uh, Dati Ardina and of course Chiri Roy Keda who's been competing everywhere and, and has been finishing well, very well and other young amateurs right now like uh, Irina Gabasa, I think Lovelyn Gyogyo, Andy Yunson. Yeah. What does this team have as a whole and individually that really stands out and makes everyone on the lookout for their triumphs and achievements? Here are what our panelists have to say. So all these girls, I mean, they really pour out, you know, everything in, into this golf and uh, hopefully in the future we'll see them competing as professional golfers abroad. I think they have the skills to compete. I think they're just as strong as other amateur golfers. Well, actually number one is talent, you know. But with talent comes a lot of dedication, practice, and I see that in them, you know. So it's just not talent, because even if you have talent, but if there's no passion, there's no drive, it's, it's nothing, right? So sighing like the talent. So it's really good that you match this talent with passion, Passion, practice, a lot, lots and lots of practice and dedication. And I think that's how you'll get somewhere. These ladies have impressed our notable panelists. Aside from winning tournaments left and right, they have also shown the right attitude to match their skill. But of course, the support they receive from ICTSI contributes to their success big time. With the training and opportunities they have access to, they are surely developing into a pool of future professional lady golfers of the Philippines. Because they've developed girls like people like Chihiro, Ikeda, and we have Sara, Ababa, and of course we have Doty and the rest. <laughs> Thank you, sa teammates ko, then dad ko nanood ngayon the coaches and lalo na si coach bo Next on the list of top groundbreaking Philippine lady golfers is one who has already made a mark for women in golf here in the Philippines She is the first Filipina golfer to win in the LPGA Tour. It's none other than Jennifer Rosales, also known as J. Rowe. J. Rowe started playing golf at the age of 12 and credits her parents as her influences in playing this sport. That must be the reason why she qualified for the tour in her first attempt. Passion, dedication, and a whole lot of hard work. This 32-year-old professional golfer has a long list of wins under her name. But there are a couple of groundbreaking titles that stands out and shows how successful her international career is. She won in the 2004 LPGA Tour Chick Villa Charity where she crossed the $1 million mark in her career earnings, became a Rolex first-time winner, and the first player from the Philippines to win on the LPGA. 
This is also the same year she recorded her first LPGA career hole-in-one, during the first round of the State Farm Classic. She again won in 2005, the LPGA Tour SBS Open at Turtle Bay. It is also in this year that she crossed the $2 million mark in her career earnings, which was during the CJ9 Bridges Classic. In this year, she also represented the Philippines for an unofficial LPGA event, the Women's World Cup of Golf, where she partnered with Dorothy Delasin and they tied for second. J. Rowe is an inspiration to a lot of young female golfers, especially after her recent J. Rowe Cup. What do our panelists have to say about the regular LPGA player? As an amateur, she was so good already during her prime, and then she was able to continue that as she turned professional, and she made big waves over here by winning a couple of LPGA events. Um, it's no longer a small pond. You're actually in a very big pond, and to be able to compete in foreign soil and winning is actually a big thing. It's a pretty big thing. I think her tipping point was like when he, she was an, an amateur, she won five times in a row in the, in the, I think in the Philippine Ladies Amateur. And she, she of course got the scholarship from USC. She, uh, she played collegiate golf and won, even won in 1998 uh, in the NCAA Championship. Aside from Jero's skill and success, a lot of ladies love her style. She makes a statement not only with how she plays, but with the way she dresses up. She's very funky on the course. Well, she backs it up because, you know, accessory. It's got to be my golf shoes and my clothes. <laughs> so she carries it and she, it, it, it looks very good on her. It goes well with her personality. But I want to give back. I want to give back because um, that's all we need. We need support for the young girls because it's a girls, it's, there's so much potential. And I want them to excel and I want more Filipinos in the tour. We've seen the two of our top three groundbreaking Philippine lady golfers. Keep tuned in as we reveal the lady golfer who nabbed the top spot.